What's up, everybody? Do, 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 do. Crypto Muscle. Do, 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 do. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah. International Renown. And I am a worldwide syndicate all over the globe. You know why? Because I am a phenomenon unlike any other out there in the space today. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Crypto Muscle, your anti hero hero, coming to you with another YouTube video. So here we are. Here is Cardex. All right. So, um, I had a comment that asked me uh, about tokens and coins and things like that. You know, and I talk about things like that from time to time, and he was wondering what do I have or what do I go into or things like that. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to do a video on that. And so here we are. All right. I I don't do very much coins and tokens and all that I hardly ever all right so uh, I kind of talked about it briefly but I'll bring about it, I'll bring it up again all right so like I don't go out of my way to buy Tron but I did so uh, to buy into Daisy originally and then whatever I had left over I just continued to grow Tron and then all this other stuff just came to my wallet for example like I never buy Shiba, but I have all of a sudden 4,000 of them in here. And I started looking inside my my stuff here. I'm like, where the hell do I get all this from? Like, I have this Ape NFT. It says I have 500,000 of them. And it says it's a value. It's at $2,400 approximately. And things like that, you know. And so I'm looking at some of this stuff. And I, I just have all these things, like this moon exchange. I don't even know if they have any value at all of any of this stuff. You know, see, so you have this Shiba Inu thing here. It's just 43,310. I don't even know if any of this stuff is valued or not. And, yeah, so I have to dig a little bit more to see if there's any value to any of this stuff. But I don't buy into, like, any of this stuff in general. And you look at, for example, my MetaMask. All right. Uh, let's see. I switch it over to ETH Network. So, looking at the ETH network, right, uh, I got that for free. Uh, WISE was one of the only very random few projects that I picked up on. Last year, I have spent two ETH, which was only valued around 800 bucks to combined last year uh, during their whole, um, I guess, the way they were selling it daily. Uh, some days they sold more, some days they sold less. So I bought into two days, and that's what I accumulated out of those two days. And they did like a 50-day run, and that's where it's valued at right now. Um, let's see what else. This bid, I bought into this bid, DeFi bids. I like the concept of it, and so I got into that. That was like last October, last year. So this one is very uh, low on the low end now. But we'll see if it will rebound because they're looking to branch out into other types of, of uh, chains and all that. Uh, so we'll see. Uni, I got that for free last year. Everybody sold theirs for like a couple thousand dollars. This is now ten thousand dollars. I was just holding the whole time. Uh, I bought into this because I like the idea of this one, Unipower. Uh, right now it's a little bit undervalued. Could have sold it recently, uh, probably a couple months ago when it was at its higher price, but oh well. And then this is left over from the ICO days of 2018 right here. It's finally going up. This thing was sitting, you, literally, this was around 25 bucks, like around uh, probably about a year ago. Literally 25 bucks. But now they're starting to get things going finally on this thing, and I'll probably get rid of this eventually. So they have all that there, right? In terms of uh, the assets there, let me see what else. Uh, leftover XRPC from the good old days of XRP Connect slash arbitrage. That's why I have zero arbs now. And so, with that, there you go. I mean, I really don't, I mean, whatever I collect, I collect from the hypes, things like that. But I don't really buy into projects or anything, hardly, hardly ever. But here's one right here that I'm very interested in doing. And uh, just everything about it. And uh, it's different just because of the fact that it's now jumping on the Cardano network here. And Cardano is you know, one of the hottest rise in, in crypto this year. So... Looking at Cardex, right? It's the first cross-chain decentralized exchange, um, primarily built on the Cardano network, right? And 
They talk about all this stuff about it. There's only a, less than a week left on this IDO run. And this is where I'm really interested in checking this thing out because of what it's going to do and what it's going to provide, what's coming, and all that. So first imminent cross-chain DEX, right? It said that this integrates cross-chain swaps with Cardano, Ethereum, Polkadot, Binance, Polygon, Huby, uh, smart chain to start with. Cardex is the first of its kind to accomplish this across a wide range of blockchains while at the same time prioritizing ease of use and, com and c convenience. So it's, it's cool, right? You have a launch pad here. So apart from being a sleek and easy to use cross-chain DEX, Cardex is also a prominent launch pad which empowers crypto projects with the ability to distribute tokens and raise liquidity via an, an efficient and easy to use interface. All that stuff, right? The so Cardex protects them against uh, rug pulls, potential rug pulls, which is an increasing pain point in the crypto space today. So some of the hallmarks of Cardex, right? They say that they're secured by the Pluto smart contracts. Uh, they provide safe full stack programming, blah, blah, blah. Uh, ease of use, right? Inst near instant transaction settlements, uh, staking rewards if you're staking. They have a NFT marketplace built on Cardano. So that's one of the things that's happening right now as Cardano continues to be a growing uh, crypto, right? Because it's so saturated now and Binance is so, and it's, it's not that it's saturated in uh, Ethereum, but it's because of the high gas fees and all that is what's driving people away from Ethereum because Ethereum is going to be probably the godfather and grandfather of like smart contracts and NFTs and things like that. But as you know, gas fees continue to be an issue uh, because of the fluctuation and just heavy usage. Um, you know, there's going to be always alternatives and Binance has been one, but it's so oversaturated with all this pump and dumps and all this crap and all these things going on. I'm so Binance out, right? And so, except I, except I do want to just grow my Binance coins and that's it. Other than that, I don't really care about anything else. And so, here, I mean, when you have an NFT marketplace now um, built on Cardano, it's going to be something new and different. Yeah, they do have it on the Binance Smart Chain and uh, to, to say the least, but the biggest you know, heavy hitter right now is obviously the Ethereum smart chain with their open C and all that. And so when we go and check it out, you know, this is going to be, this is what's going to, uh, you know, provide even more fierce competition, right? So Cardex allows you to trade with total security using your private keys, blah, blah, blah. So non custodio. So this is the Cardex launch pad, diamond, gold, and platinum. Um, Right off the bat, buying into this IDO, you can really uh, qualify for the gold already right off the bat. With one Ethereum, you get 235,000 tokens and instantly could go right here, boom, for gold, right? Uh, you can max out at 3.7 Ethereum, which I, w I personally would not do because that's just me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's where you can go to and staking length required four days before the IDO begins. So if you're looking to stake, right now is the time to do it because it's already, when you look at it, only a couple days away if you're looking to stake with this, right? Here, you still have time to stake 500, um, with 500,000 one day before the IDO begins. That's if you buy more than, you know, Two Ethereum. All right, you probably need at least three Ethereum, two and a half Ethereum, to get at least five hundred thousand, right? Because it's two two thirty five right now. So, yeah, that. So this is the pre sale offering, right? That they're doing. Uh, currently, even though it says one ETH at two hundred thirty five thousand, and then it dropped to two hundred twenty thousand. It initially did go to two hundred twenty thousand originally, and then uh, in October it says one ETH for one hundred fifty thousand. But because of the Ethereum price right now, it's back up to the 235000 that you get. And they're going to continue to be traded on Uniswap version 3 for ease of use. And ERC20 tokens will be swapped one-to-one -one free airdrop for native tokens on the Cardano blockchain in the latter half of November. Since 
you know, it's, it's ending in the next few days. And so maximum contribution, 3.7 ETH per wallet. Uh, I know a guy that's, <laughs> I know a guy that's do, is doing um, 6.4 on two wallets. So uh, they're only doing ETH right now at the moment. And uh, you can see the Cardex pricing and Cardex tokens for sale that they're doing. Distribution will be sent to your MetaMask. That's where you're using is MetaMask to connect and, and buy in from. IDO listing is ending on November 12th or it can go a little bit before that, but it's probably going to run all the way to the end. And then they got their roadmap set up on what they're doing, what they're planning on, what's coming, all that stuff. And you know, I, f I just find it very interesting. And like I said, I don't go into very, many, very, very, very many coins at all. As you can see, I showed you guys, this, you know, my stuff. And, and uh, yeah, so looking at the Telegram group, right, first ever, or it's not first ever, but first cross-chain. Uh, decentralized chain primarily built on the Cardano network, right? And so that's that's what already drew my attention is that. And so it's an easy buy gas for me. Looking at it seems to be kind of low right now, which is good in terms of making the purchase for it. So that's what I'm looking to do. And um, let me see some of the information that I was looking at earlier. I was like, wow, this is very interesting. And yeah, there's a lot of things that's going to be uh, happening with this. And, you know, Cardano is on the rise. And, again, people are, you know, over Tron, right? Tron was a thing. It's over, right? It's still around, but it's it's not what it, the clout is not what it used to be, right? And will it come back? Yeah, possibly. And then Binance, like I said, is so overly saturated. And it's like... People have, you know, had enough of all the stuff that's been going on over there. And, you know, I'll still collect Binance coins and all that. It's cool. With this, you know. But now, with uh, this, you know, I, I see possibly good things out of it. I mean, you don't have to take my word for it, but it's something I'm very interested in doing. And I'll probably allocate one ETH for, as that's what I'm going to do here. One ETH. Boom, instant card, uh, yeah, card X via MetaMask. So once you make the purchase, boom, it goes to your wallet instantly, right? And I looked at the gas price. I think when I looked at it a few minutes ago, it was like 69 bucks for it. So that's what I'm interested in doing and, and will be doing. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And you guys let me know what you guys think about this particular thing. And, there's no links or nothing like that. I'm just trying to share you guys my thoughts on it and where this could possibly go. So this could possibly blow up pretty nicely. And, you know, when you're buying it, you're going to get 235000 of it right now during the IDO times, right? Because they're going to eventually release it on um, the, let's see here. I did read that they were going to release it on Uniswap. And I'm trying to see where I read it somewhere here. Yeah. yeah I read it from somewhere that, yeah, eventually it's going to go out there and, you know, you're not going to get it nearly where we're getting it at right now. And that's why it's, to me, very interesting and how everything is going to be coming out from this. So I think it's it's going to just go nicely and blow up, you know. So trying to see here real quick. And so like I was saying, some of the things that's coming up, right, Uniswap launch, staking, the DEX is coming, native token launch, uh, the native token swap, and then new project IDOs that's on the launch pad. And these are all just coming right within this quarter, so... I don't know. I just think that this thing could really, you know, shoot to the moon, you know, if you want to, you know, be cheesy about it. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I just want to share this with you guys. Check it out. It's Card X.
Comment down below. Let me know what you think about Cardex. And I'll see you next one.